extra time. Does anybody have a question? Yes. Hey, Greg, you said once that you can't experience control and creativity at the same time. What do you mean? Well, yeah, creativity and control, it kind of, it really comes down to, uh, a lot of people want to, want to control. In other words, especially beginners, they're scared, stuff, and they get on stage and they want to know what's going to happen before it happens. Does that make sense? You, you, oh, I want to know everything that's going to happen, you know, in the, well, as soon as you know everything that you're going to do right down to the nth degree, there's no creativity coming out of you. Okay? Because to, before I made a distinction between a material and the material's interpretation. Well, first of all, if you set the material, okay, and, and, and you're going to say it verbatim, and then you set the interpretation and you're going to do that, that verbatim as well. In other words, you're, you know, you're going to act the same, move the same, choreograph everything. Now, everything's set. No creativity whatsoever. There's no experimentation. There's no variation. There's no anything. It's just, uh, it just repeating and performing exactly what you did at home. Okay? So when you get here, that's not predictable. It's controllable. You get to control it. Now, the problem with that is, uh, that's the other thing I talk about, the difference between memorizing words and wor working in picture sounds and feelings. So, it, it, what's the most important thing about stand-up comedy? Relationship with the audience. Relationship with the audience. Okay, so if you already, if you're always busy making sure you say the right things and behave the way that you practiced at home, there's no room or attention for the audience. None, none at all. There's no. You're not going to be in a loop with the audience. You're just going to be busy presenting this thing that you rehearsed at home, and you're going to be busy. Uh, trying to remember what you did at home. So your mind can never be present <clears throat> because your mind's always back in the future trying to remember what you worked out at home, verbatim words, verbatim interpretation. Okay? So there's no creativity in that whatsoever. Okay? And there's no relationship with the audience. It's just now a presentation. I'm going to present these things. Some of the jokes may work with that and stuff, but the problem with it is there's no creativity. Creativity is not driving the show. Okay, the script and, and, and let's just say the rehearsal is, is driving the show. You're, you're just trying to repeat everything you did at home. Okay, the, no creativity. The creativity happened at home maybe, but not during the show itself because you're really not present. You're in the past. <clears throat> so. That's control. Now, if you do what I talk about, which is, you know, uh, uh, once you have your script, then you put it in my rehearsal process, act everything out as a scene, so everything is a moment, uh, uh, an event, an experience, and you have it in your head as picture sounds and feelings, which is the way we've been telling stories and being funny our entire lives. Okay, that's normal, but we have to get those jokes <clears throat> in that that, that mental space of picture sounds and feelings so we can tell the audience the stories of, of our material. But then if you do it my way, the words are probably going to change a little bit and you can experiment with them. Oh, that's creativity. The interpretation could come out of you in a completely unexpected way. And on top of that, if you leave some space, maybe even some material will come completely out of you that comes, cause seems to come out of nowhere. And I always find that that material and that interpretation that comes out of nowhere just happens while you're in that really great state you are when you're performing. That material that pops out of you while you're there performing is the best material you'll ever write. It stays in your show. It's organic, it's real, it most, almost always comes from picture sounds and feelings. Uh, it, and again, it comes from creativity in the moment because you're in a relationship, which means the audience is having an impact on how you're doing the show. That, that, that creative, that, that material may have come out of the way an audience member reacted to material and you responded to it. Okay, so working my way, you, you, you get the creativity, the words could change. You can experiment with the joke. Uh, the interpretation is, is, is in flux. Not completely different, but it's in flux. Again, you can experiment with that. You know, what's the best emotion? What's the best speed? 
you know, should I give it to a character? You try all those different things, so you're constantly being creative with the show. But you have to make a choice. Okay? You can either have that perfect control by just presenting your rehearsal, or you get up and do it from pictures, sounds, and feelings and get in the present and in a relationship with the audience where your attention's on them and you're responding to them as much as they're responding to you. And then you, you're, you, now creativity's driving your show rather than the script and the rehearsal. So you get to have control or creativity.